So uh, after being in the academy, we eventually went on to play for clubs around the country in uh, Manipur, Kolkata, Goa, and Mumbai. Uh, I think you had made your debut with Mohan Bagan. So what was it like to play for that Kolkata crowd? Can you explain? Oh, that, say like that four years that I spent in Tata Football Academy uh, in my, uh, again, uh, because I went from winning the national, being part of the national uh, Bihar team, uh, got a call up for the under 17 again uh, for the Indian team, uh, then took part in the Asian Youth Championship, then for the under 17, under 20. I think towards the end of my uh, time in academy, this was I think early 2004 before I got uh, before we got passed out. Even I got. Uh, I was I was pretty I think fortunate to be part of when Stephen Constantine was there was the head coach. I was selected to be part of the national senior team and I got to travel with uh, the, even for the World Cup qualifying in Japan, Jakarta. So I think that was my exposure as a as a young youth, you know, some 18, 19 years old. Both. So I think uh, then again I'm trying to come back to starting my career in in club in club. So you were like considered to be one of the promising upcoming player. Uh, and with all those exposures and and you feel that uh, you should do well, you should go to, uh, because you have like a couple of months time before you join to the, uh, because it was different then. It was different. It was, uh, there was no, I don't have anyone I, I remember who can I go up to and ask for an advice or, you know, say, yeah. uh, understand that you know things were much very much different so i have to I have to find a way for myself so i don't i didn't know that uh it will be tough but i didn't know that i didn't realize that how much it would be you know tough for anyone to crack into say um playing to a senior team playing for a junior team is different but walking into a senior team you have already some established or star players or established players of officials so you know no one's gonna give you that like a pathway or a, hey, come, you know, take my place. A senior place, we're not going to say that I have to earn that respect. I have yeah. to earn that place. I have to fight for that place. So it wasn't easy, the transition from a from a, from a young player to a senior player, trying to yeah. walk into senior dressing room. So that was, a, I think that was the most critical moment for any, I think, in a, in a sport person uh, life. Can I ask, uh, the first the first team that you played in, the senior team, uh, yeah. the problem that you're talking about, what was some of the ways that, you would impress them on that respect. Yeah. Basically, what can people right now in youth academies do in order to earn respect from the team seniors? Yeah, uh, you know th that's why I said like uh, because you have like for some uh, because I think of all the upcoming players, the journey will be different. Like in my, I'm talking about my journey because my yeah. journey was different. I'm sure some some of my friends, uh, you know, took it a little longer or less time than me because I took a little longer for me to establish but I, there was a time when I feel like you know I, I couldn't understand what's going on because I was looking for my playing time I, I was not getting it I was like what's going to, you know so so in my case like I said transition from the young player to a senior player walking into the dressing room you have you have all the senior players sitting there who are established players who are star players you know in their own right and they, some of them are national team players uh, doing so well, walking to Mohan Bagan, uh, you know, dressing room, a huge dressing room. So you have to like, so mentally you have to, you have to prepare, like mentally you have to be like, you know, situations push you to many places where you even don't know, you know, how to come back. But I think if you want to move ahead, then you need to, you need to find a way to survive. You need to find a way to stick around there. You need to find a way you know, have the patience, wait for your time. There'll be times when you are disappointed. There'll be times when we're so down. There'll be times when you're so frustrated. Like you're looking for your playing time. You're not getting it. But the question is, you need to keep on going, keep on going. I think that's uh, that's the only way. Keep on going, keep on going. Because no one's going to give you say, hey, take my place. No one's going to say that you need to earn for that. So basically yeah. what I'm trying to say is like, it was not easy for me. Uh, I was not getting my playing time in Mohan Bagan. So I have decided, luckily, I think Dempo was, Dempo, the head coach, Mr. Amar Nicolás, who agreed, to loan me, uh, you know. So I was there for a few months in Mohan Bagan. Then I joined Dempo and uh, the journey, uh, Dempo, the season, uh, you know, what a, what a great team they had. Uh, we had the season. 
and we won the I we won the next I think NFL we won the Fed Cup so double there was a, the cup and the league I was I got like few minutes of playing time and you got frustrated and you, as a young player you know for like three four years you had a, such a career like as a young boy but you need to understand that uh, as a young boy it's good that you're, you're developing yourself but the things like you're not proven uh, at the at the at the at the league at the senior league level so you need to wait there you need to put a little patience there. The question is like how how much uh, how much you are ready to 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 adapt to you know to embrace a situation, but making sure that you you keep on walking, keep on walking there, you know, walking on the finding areas where you need to keep improving. So that's how it is. Like you know, from Dempo, I went to Mahindra again. Then Mahindra with all the collection of stars and and I ended up playing few minutes again. I haven't get so it's. But again, we Mohinder won the league, Mohinder won the cup, so it was a double, you know. And uh, but you were part of the winning team. I think in my case, I was so, in some way, I was not getting too much of playing time, but I was part of the dressing room. I was part of the 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 winners. I was part of I I had, you know, early in so early in my career, I I had the experience of seeing some of the best players, some seeing in in the, in the league. Uh, seeing how do they prepare on the pitch and off the pitch, and I think probably that also helped eventually uh, later in my career being around with the winners because I haven't seen much of the losing dressing rooms because those in my formative years in in the in the senior dressing room, I did some Dempo, I did some Mahindra that I came back to uh, Sporting, uh, won so many matches and uh, but I found my fit and you know. Eventually, in the in Churchill, when I joined Churchill in 2007, I think since then I never looked back. But whether I was getting to, uh, to you know the playing time, that what how much that I want uh, wanted or not. Uh, but I think all those struggles, all those uh, I think everyone has the challenges, and I had my share of uh, challenges and struggle. And I think those 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 experiences teach you uh, teach you uh, you know prepare you for the uh, things ahead. Yeah.